Thanks, Karina. We'll see you at six for the debate. The city of Lompoc has seen crime rates go up in the last couple of months. The chief of police there says they're working to combat it. KSBY News reporter Fabiola Ramirez is live from Lompoc this evening. Fabiola, what kind of crimes are we seeing on the rise there? Police say the highest number of crimes right now are shoplifting, car break-ins and thefts. A recent uptick in thefts has many Lompoc locals on high alert. I think it's only a matter of time um, before it does happen to me or somebody in my household. Marissa Cervantes says she double checks that all doors are always locked. So does Amber Wang, who recently got her car broken into. We lost uh, everything, the GPS, the driver license. Any kind of theft is a bike theft and uh, uh, theft from stores. Every store, if you go talk to any store, every day they're getting shoplifted. Chief Pat Walsh says he has requested that the city council pass a resolution to support the Keeping California Safe Act of 2018. Which is a campaign to put a ballot initiative on the November ballot to fix some of the issues we see. If we are able to get things like Petty theft with a prior back, which means if you're caught a third time for stealing, it ain't, and it actually becomes a felony. If we get those things back, then our serial thieves will be held accountable. Right now, they're not being held accountable. The resolution was approved by the city council Tuesday night. The chief believes it will help reduce crime. The department will also get four new officers soon. Their training is expected to be complete in the next month. Police say one simple way the community can help to reduce crime is as simple as starting a neighborhood watch group. Live and local in Lompoc, I'm Fabiola Ramirez, KSBY News. Interesting report there, uh, Fabiola, we appreciate it. Police also ask that people report crimes to the department immediately and not just post them to social media because officers don't often monitor that.